Hello, today we're going to find the volume of a cylinder. So first I'm just going to draw a quick cylinder here. And I'm going to give it a height of 6 meters and a radius of 3 meters, not that the meters matter. So the first thing, thing we want to do is take a cross-sectional sort of area, or at least half of it, of this cylinder, as you can see by the dotted lines I'm drawing now. And this uh, rectangle, it's going to have a height of 6 meters and a length of 3 meters, which are the height and radius of the cylinder. So next, we're just going to well, draw a graph here with an x-axis and a y-axis. And I'm just going to put that rectangle on the graph and we'll see that um, this line here is the line x equals 3, and this line here is y equals 6. So what we're going to do to find the volume of a cylinder is we're just going to take the x line, draw in its entirety. This is the line x equals 3. And we're just going to remember that that there is 6. Right, now's the maths bit. We're going to use the equation volume equals pi, the integral from a to b, of x squared dy. Now, of course, a here is going to be the origin, which is the base of our um, rectangle here, and b is going to be 6, which is the height of our cylinder. And x squared is, of course, 3. So if we just plug those numbers in, 0, 6, 3 squared, dy. Now, of course, 3 squared is 9, so volume equals pi from 0 to 6, 9, dy. Now, if we just uh, do the integral here, Of course, 9dy is just 9y. We find that volume volume here. Now, of course, 9 times 6 is 54. So volume equals 54 pi, or 167 meters. And there you go. That's how you find the volume of a cylinder. Thank you for watching.